Thanks. How are you all doing today? I hope y'all doing great. I am tired. I'm just trying to get pumped up, you know, have some energy. Um, I'm going to put a video up, okay? And it's a, actually a video that I was supposed to post a while ago. I've just been so busy and I'm sorry I didn't post it. Um, but basically what it was, was um, it is an update on the hair, skin, nail supplements. Where my hair is, how it's doing, and I actually stopped taking it. Um, I stopped taking it because um, a lot of people have been asking me, are you experiencing hair loss or sh a massive shedding after you stopped taking the supplements? And I really couldn't answer that question because I, w I didn't stop yet. So I wanted to stop to let you all know if I am experiencing any shedding or hair loss. And it's been three and a half weeks since I've used um, the um, taken any of the supplements. And I can tell you all, I have not experienced any shedding or hair loss out of the ordinary that my hair usually does. So as far as shedding, massive shedding, when um, stopping, when I stopped taking the um, hair supplements, no. Um, it is three and a half weeks, so I will keep you all updated. I'll probably um, not take the supplement for the next month. We're in May. I won't take it next month either and um, let you all, you know, update you on how my hair is doing. But I will, I want to get back on to it. I do want to get back on to it because um, I just really love the results that I've had with it and I'm trying to grow out this hair. Um, my goal, huh, I don't know, I want it as long as possible, basically, <laughs> for hair goals. Um, if I can stretch it out to show you where it is now, you know, it's curly, so you can't really get it too accurate, but, and this side grows longer than the other side, it's just, I don't know, something that my hair likes to do, one side grows longer than the other. Doesn't it, the curly hair doesn't want to straighten out for you guys? They seem the same, and then I straighten it, and I'm like, what? But anyway, this is where it is right now. Um, I can really tell the difference in my hair growth when I straighten my hair. When it's curly, it's really hard to tell, and measuring is so me and measuring we don't work very well okay because i can measure right here i can be heat up here down here it's just no measuring doesn't work for me so i like to just when i straighten it take pictures and see how far it's grown but um as far as the shedding no i haven't experienced any extraordinary shedding um after taking the um hair supplements so i've really been satisfied with it with my growth and now that I've stopped, I'm satisfied and happy that my hair is not shedding from, I guess, the product not being in my system anymore. Um, I came also to just give you all some, you know, some things, tell you all some things I've been using. And um, went to the store yesterday, picked up a couple of things and wanted to share it with you all. Um, this week, I actually, for the first time, did the lock method. Never done it before, but I've been doing some research and I just want to try it out. Usually what I do is, I don't know if there's um if it's called anything, but if I do a twist out, I do a moisturizer and then I um, coat it with oil after. Like a moisturizer in a section, wet, wet it with water, moisturize the section, put oil, and then I do a twist. I don't know. I just always thought oil last would seal it in at the look. Just want to try the lock method to see if it would be any different. And I think I actually like it. I'm satisfied. Um, I'm liking my twist outs better with the lock method. It's just more work. Three, three steps instead of two. You know, anything more is work. But anyway, um, earlier this week, I was using sh um, the Shea Moisture line because that's what I usually use. That's what I, I've been using since I've been natural. So I would put this in for the leave-in because lock is leaving, leave-in oil. And the C is cream, like your moisturizer. 
leave-in oil moisturize so what I've been doing earlier this week is this one putting it as a leave-in it is a conditioner but you can use it as a leave-in oil this is not this I'm just using this bottle this oil is not the same as this brand so I'm just using oil I don't usually I use coconut oil so I'll try it with coconut oil that's my favorite oil and I'm sure I'll be most happy with that one and then for the moisturizer I use this one it is called um called a curl hand curl enhancing smoothie but really it's really good as a moisturizer and as you can see um yeah to get some light. so anyway I was at the store and I actually saw something else and it was on sale buy one get one free so if you see this video I'm putting it up early this time Go and see if it's there. I got it at Walgreens. Um, this is a product my sister has actually used, the um, QP Elasta QP. Um, and she loves it, and she loves how it smells and was raving about it. So I was like, let me try it. Um, I got the leave-in conditioner to use as my leave-in, of course, for the lock method. And then I use the same oil. And I got the curl, I'm reading it as I have it here, curl definition pudding. Um, the moisturizer, oh my god. Well, the leave-in conditioner, oh my goodness, it smells like heaven. Amazing. The other one smells good too, but the leave-in conditioner smells great. I looked at the um, ingredients and they have pretty good ingredients. Um... We don't have petroleum and alcohol and all that. They have a lot of different oils, which is really good for our hair, for natural hairs, hairs, hair types. Um, I'm really liking this product, and I'm liking the lock method a lot. This is my um, hair from using this, which I used yesterday, last night. And um, I'm liking this twist out a lot better than when I use the Shea Moisture line because um, I just it's just bigger I like that it's bigger and the definition I really like so that's one thing I noticed when I use this product more it was bigger and the definition was better um, Shea, the Shea Moisture when I use that my hair is like my hair is soft but with um, when I come close up it doesn't look like it has as much definition and that's because I've been in my hair playing in my hair so I you know I messed it up myself but the Shea Moisture line uh, my hair is really this my hair is soft now but with the Shea Moisture oh my gosh my hair is like butter okay so it's give and take but I really like this and I, I'm happy I got it it's buy one get one free it's not a bad deal so that's just something if you are looking for some products that you want to try out, I would recommend this to you. If you're really looking for curl definition, I would I would recommend this. Now, I looked it up on YouTube and a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but I've seen a few people that say that this, the curl defining pudding dries their hair out, but that's when they've used it by itself. I use the lock method, so I had uh, a leave-in. I had oil, so I didn't have that issue at all. Like, it dried my hair out. Um, another thing I picked up at the store is this Mega Slick Wet n Wild. It's um, balm stain, and it's a moisturizing lip color. That's actually what I have on my lips today. Mm -hmm. I went to the store, and I just picked it up because I'm just, I just love lip gloss, and I love makeup. And I picked it up. It was $1.99. Got out to the car, opened it up because that was the, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Put it on my lips and I was so surprised. You know, for $1.99 and all this color, I was so surprised by it. And what even surprised me further was when I got home, did whatever I need to do, walking around, doing what I need to get to do. Like hours later, it was nighttime. I was ready to go to bed. Okay, it was like six hours later and it was still on my lips. It wasn't as, you know, see how shiny as it is now, but the color was still there, okay? So it lasts for hours. And what I really like, like about it is it also has like a mint sensation. So it's really, you feel like it's working. So those are just some products that I'm using. Um, this twist out, to do this one, I just had, I did 10 twists in my hair. <sighs> 
I did 10 twists in my hair all over, like two at the bottom, three, three, two at the sides. Um, this one, you know, this bang part was by itself. And I did like two strand twists. I'm doing it really sloppy because, you know, this is just for... I like to entertain myself. <laughs> okay, so I twisted it and then I just wrapped this around like twice, folded it like so to keep that end together. Then did this and bam. That and you know, kept it in overnight. So that's how I got this. beautiful twist out today but the products really really made a difference um, I'm loving this twist out and I will put some pictures up of what it looked like this morning because this morning it did have more definition and um, the, the hair did have more definition and it wasn't as big as this I love it as big it is big as it is um, but this morning it was pretty good too so it just grew over throughout the day, which is not a problem for me. I don't look at that, really. Okay, here. You want to misbehave on YouTube? <laughs> but anyway, if you have any questions about any products, you want to see me try any hairstyles, like um, I just want to share with you all what I'm using and what's working for me. Um, so it's not only going to be it works products. If you want a hairstyle or any, you know, methods about how I wash my hair, you know, anything like that, let me know. I am available. You know, I'll fit it in my crazy life. Um, you all have a great day and continue to subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Bye.